Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out what are the important general messages for you. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me what's, what are the important messages for Capricorn today. death in reverse at the bottom of the deck capricorn this is a general reading so you can apply it to your work situation love situation friends or family okay Three of Swords is here, Five of Cups, so there has been an ending or a separation between you and somebody. I feel like this has to do with a love relationship, okay? Could also be a friendship situation, an ending, where with the Five of Cups, there is a lot of, there are a lot of disappointments surrounding to this ending. Somebody's heart got broken. Could be you, you could have been uh, heartbroken in regards of something that happened or something that did not happen okay so got the eight of pentacles here this could mean that you are focusing on work right now and with the empress in re reverse this indicates when it comes to love responsibilities as a lover as a partner as a mother or as a wife or husband okay it's not gender specific i feel like a lot of you are um Removing that role, okay? Perhaps this is something to, to do with someone in your past whom could have broken your heart. So from, you know, I don't know why I see this. It doesn't matter the gender, okay? Someone being so nurturing, you know, taking care of somebody, so loving, so giving. And then now the focus has switched to Eight of Pentacles, to working hard, okay? Um, career, more career focused, more career oriented. Some of you, you may be focusing on your work right now and, you know, kind of put that other role aside. Perhaps it's because of the heartbreak here, the separation between you and somebody, okay? So you got the Two of Cups and you got the Judgment in Reverse. I feel like somebody will return and apologize here with the judgment in reverse. Perhaps they are going to tell you that they made the wrong judgment call, but it could also be you, okay? Again, roles can be switched. You got the Two of Cups indicates a soulmate connection. Could also be a friendship. But there are regrets, definitely, of somebody uh, who could have made the wrong judgment call, okay? And then finally realizing that maybe this person was, maybe they feel like you, you know, because you no longer invest in them or in this connection, they're finally realizing the loss of you, okay? The consequences as well, that's what I'm sensing because judgment sometimes could indicate karma. Okay, let's see more. Okay, so we got the death in reverse and we got ace of swords here. It does look like with the death in reverse indicates revival of a connection that has ended or somebody not thinking or feeling that it is over yet, okay? It could be you or your person. But Ace of Swords is right here. It could mean a new beginning for a lot of you after finding out the truth or realizing something here. Um, feeling that maybe now you know, okay? You've got the information, the clarity, and the truth of the situation. And this is why you could be planning to move on eight of cups you have some of you've already on your way to moving on or have already moved on but most of you i feel like you could be planning to move on from this connection from this person okay maybe regretting that you know being with this person was not the best idea but this could also mean someone wanting a new beginning wanting to revive this connection ever since the separation got the nine of swords in reverse ace of wands in reverse here yeah, I feel like with the Nine of Swords in reverse has something to do with somebody trying not to think too much, stress too much. So it's almost like working, it's like a distraction. Focusing on work is a distraction. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse indicates again a separation, like an ending of a relationship. That could have started out very passionate, but it just didn't take off, it didn't grow, okay? It didn't grow into something that you expect. But Six of Pentacles is in reverse. I do sense an offer coming in to apologize, to want to reconcile, but also looks like it's going to be rejected. Someone also may be holding back with the strength card here. It could be dealing with a Leo. can be any sign, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
I'm also sensing somebody really, really wanting to reconcile but is holding back, okay? Could be you or your person. But High Priestess in Reverse is, tell, is telling you not to ignore your intuition. Yeah, you have got two cards that indicates moving on. It could also mean moving towards karma water with the Six of Swords here. Maybe someone wants to break their silence, they want to talk about let's get back together. But I feel like for the most part, you guys are moving on from this person. Ever since secrets that could have been revealed or, you know, uh, could be your feelings, could be something that you've realized about this person or about yourself, okay? Yeah, someone is holding back for recon uh, from reconciling. It could be you or your person feeling like it's time to cut this person off completely. Six of Wands in reverse, Nine of Swords is also in reverse. It does indicate, yep, someone is definitely doing their best not to pay attention to this person or to the whatever that happened between two of you. I feel like uh, work definitely is a distraction for a lot of you you're just focusing on your work but this could also be somebody focusing on themselves or focusing on maybe trying to make things work here but at the same time i feel like there is this energy of someone just um avoiding okay it's like an avoidance energy that i'm sensing to you know put in any more effort pay more attention to this person someone is avoiding doing all of that they're just holding back and then they're possibly working on some projects or work, whatever, just to not focus on this ending, okay? Not a sort also in reverse. For some of you, you may have uh, issues at work, okay? Perhaps partnership people whom you work with. Um, I feel like for some of you, not all of you, you may uh, choose to actually work alone rather than working with people to avoid any sorts of drama or disagreements for some of you, small group of you, not all of you. There could be a communication issues as well. With the Knight of Swords and Reverse, yeah, I feel like a lot of you may not want to speak to a certain someone because you don't see them the same way anymore. You may have liked them, admired them, or loved them e even, but could be anybody, could be a co-worker, could be a friend could be a lover but it does look like a lot of you are refusing to talk to this person or it could go vice versa ten of cups is at the bottom of the deck this is in reverse let's see more mm. okay so that definitely it is has um like i feel like unhappiness separation again ten of cups in reverse perhaps it's a connection you have you know put in a lot of effort into but I feel like, Capricorn, if you've been working really hard on your work, again, on your career or business or new project, um, this I feel like the King of Pentacles is a sign that it's going to be very successful, okay? Like you are going to receive um, maybe extra money or stability because King of Pentacles is the king of money. It doesn't matter king or queen, it's not gender specific. And you're going to be manifesting a lot of things here with the magician here, using your talents, uh, even using your connections as what well, I'm getting as well. So when it comes to money, very successful Capricorn, if you've been working towards something in, in terms of your career and finance, it looks like it's going to be really successful. When it comes to love, I do sense all of you are going through separation right now, okay? And just doing your best to move on. Just don't want the drama anymore. Five of Swords in reverse. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with four videos on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, these are the videos from my second channel. It's a mixture of vlogs and tarot. <laughs> you guys are interested. If not, it's fine too, Capricorn. Hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. Take care. Bye.